This hack tip is brought to you by Hack5 and viewers like you. Support us directly at hackshop.com. Welcome to Hack Tip, the show where we break down concepts, tools, and techniques for hackers, gurus, and IT ninjas. I'm Shannon Morse, and it's time that we talked about some of the output options that you have in Nmap, since we've pretty much seen all of the different output for all of our commands just in the terminal. So, for example, you can output your info into an XML file, a text file, or even a greppable file. This may be really helpful if you need to scan a network with like thousands of systems on it and you don't want to just have everything in the terminal. It would be great if you would be able to search or review your file later on and you would be able to close your terminal so you could save that information in the process. So we'll go ahead and start with the first command option, which is tac o n. So to do this one, you'll type, and it looks pretty familiar to our other commands, tac z o capital N. And then you'll type in whatever you want your text document to be called. So this is for text documents. So I'm gonna call it um, scan.txt, T-X-T. And I'm gonna scan my entire network, one slash two four. Then you just hit enter and you let it go ahead and scan. Now, once it is completed, I can type in cat scan.txt and I can see the entire scan again. And you'll, if I scroll up a little bit, you can see that is where I entered it up at the top. Also, if you wanted to just look at this through your directory, you can also go into your file explorer, like if you're on Windows, and you can see it that way as well. It's just a simple text document. Now make sure if you do want to use the same name for a file, you change the first name, that scan.txt, to a different text file name because it will end up overwriting whatever ones that you do in the process if you want to do this command over and over again. Uh, if you want to, you can change the name of the text file or you can use the command option tac tac append tac output. I'm not going to go over that one too much because it's just tac tac append tac output. Now you can also do the same thing with an XML file and this one is also pretty quick and easy. It's very similar to the last one. You type nmap tac o capital X and I'll do scan.xml, and then whatever thing you're scanning. So I'll do my whole network again, slash two, four, and hit enter. And then it'll scan like normal, and you'll be able to cat test.x, or scan.xml, and I'll show you that in just a moment. Okay, now that it is finished, I can type in scan, or cat scan.xml, and you'll see what I get back is an entire XML file. And of course, you can also look at this in your file directory too. Now, last one that we can do is a greppable file. So this is pretty much the same thing again, the same kind of option that you're going to have, except this time it's going to be tac o capital G. So to type in this one for a greppable file, you'll type nmap tac o capital G, and then the name of your file, so I'll call it scan to scantron. Haha, <laughs> dot txt, 10.73.1 slash 24. Hit enter and go ahead and let it scan whatever network or whatever systems that you want to put into this greppable file. Okay, so now that we're doing a greppable file, I want to look specifically for hosts that are running a Microsoft uh, DS open port. So I'm going to type in for this, since it is a grep file, I can grep. Microsoft under the scantron.txt file, hit enter, and it'll pull back for me each host, the ports that are open, as well as which exact uh, host is actually running that Microsoft DS uh, open port on it. So pretty cool, definitely very, very handy if you need this kind of information. And there are a couple more really, really cool outputs that I want to share with you. So I'll be right back with a few more file output techniques. But first, let's thank our sponsor right now. Do it. Do it right now. The Hack Shop is Hack5's premier store for all of your pen testing needs, including one of my favorites, the USB rubber ducky, which looks like a flash drive and it kind of types like a keyboard. And it types in scripts crazy, crazy fast into a computer. 
And one of my favorite scripts this week is from Plasmaz over in the Hack5 forums. He created a script that will convert Ducky script into Arduino for use with a Teensy if you wanted to. That's pretty cool. Now, of course, we couldn't do the show without your support, so we would like to thank you with something special. You can use the coupon code SNUBS with any order for your very own signed Hack Tip stickers, just like this one on the back of my computer. So cool. And thank you so much for supporting the show. Of course, again, we couldn't do it without you. We're back now. What if you wanted to output the scans of all of those different commands into all the different formats? You not only wanted XML, but you want text and you want greppable. Well, that's pretty easy as well. This one is pretty cool. You just type in nmap text O capital A, and then whatever you want your files to be called. So I'll call them all scan to, and then whatever network or system that you wanted to scan. So I'll do the entire network again and then it's going to scan as usual. Now, once that's completed, if I use ls tac l, and I'm gonna use the scan to dot wildcard and hit enter, I'll see all of the newly created files. So not only do I see gnmap, nmap, and I also see xml. So the differences with these is gnmap is grep, xml is obviously XML and nmap is the text file. And there are also a couple of other pretty cool and useful different output types. Uh, for example, if you wanna see the status of your actual scan, like every five seconds or so, or one second or whatever you want it to be, you can type in this pretty easy little command. You type nmap tac tac stats, if I can spell right, huh? every, so tac tac stats tac every. Uh, I'm going to do every two seconds, two S, S for seconds, and then my network. So one slash two, four. Now when I hit enter, you'll notice every two seconds, it's going to give me information on that. So connect scan timing, 8.7% done, 15.5% done, and it'll continue on until the very end, and then it'll automatically stop when I'm done. Now you can use this, you can use uh, S for seconds, you can also use M for minutes, or H for hours if it's a really, really big network, and you know it's gonna take a really long time, and you don't wanna just stand there looking at nothing. You wanna see at least a percentage of how much is done. So once it completes, it just completes. We'll go ahead and wait till that is finished. Okay, and now that it is complete, it's, you, you notice that it obviously just quits out by itself. And lastly, we have a pretty fun one. I actually think this one is kind of cute. It's called a script kitty or elite output. And this is used with TAC O capital S. So this is just kind of a cute little Easter egg that you can find in nmap that you can pretty much just play around with or you could fool your friends with it if you want to. So to do this one, you type in nmap and then TAC O capital S the name of your text file, if you wanna output this into a text file. So I'll call it uh, kitty.txt and then 10.73, one slash two, four. Hit enter and go ahead and let it run through the entire scan. So now, once it is completed, I can type in cat kitty.txt and you'll notice in my output instead of having everything written in you know proper actual English we get this sort of leet speak because that's how all the kids seem to type these days I don't understand all of it even though I should because I, I do this kind of stuff all the time but oh my goodness look there's capital letters in the middle of the words and there's dollar signs instead of S's how cute all right, that's about it for this week as far as Nmap goes, but you can always send me a comment below or you can email us over at tips at hack5.org and make sure to check out our sister show, Hack5, over at hack5.org for more great stuff, awesome stuff, just like everything that we've been doing here, except even better. And I'll be over there reminding you to trust your technolist. See you next week. <laughs>